Hi all, so uh, just trying to get motivated to get out for uh, another recce for the, the Dragon's Back. So the idea today is we're going to recce uh, some of the first part of day two. Uh, so there's been some route changes from previous years, so we're, we're going to go and have a look at those. It's about a 24-25k loop that we're doing today, uh, so hopefully it'll go well. Just trying to get the motivation to, to get out and get gone. Uh, had a bad back this week, so it's still pretty sore, and uh, you know, just just getting the motivation to go. So uh, I'll talk a little bit more when we get out on the hill, and uh, catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so we've just been up uh, Connect, so we're just uh, making our way down from there along the ridge. So uh, it's felt pretty tough going this morning, so back's pretty sore. So uh, just taking it fairly easy, not pushing it too hard. And uh, yeah, we'll just you know, treat it as a proper recce, uh, not so much looking at the speed of the training. So let you know how you get on, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in a bit. Hi guys, we've just come down Connect, so just come down there, straight down. What a descent, it's been a long time since I've been on my arse that many times, so uh, yeah, pretty slippy this time of year, hopefully uh, in the summer it'll be a bit less slippy and uh, we'll be able to get down, but yeah, very very steep and, uh, and grassy, but uh, yeah, all good, all good, we just uh, waded through some water coming down here. And then uh, just going to stop for a pork pie and then straight up the other side. So we're just trying to practice some of the real food nutrition as well. So we'll do that and then uh, stop for a couple of minutes and then crack on. So I'll catch you all in a bit. Hi guys, so we've just done our last major peak for the day. So uh, from here we're going to drop down into Manturog uh, and then I'm going to leave the uh, the DBR route to uh, circle back to the car. So we've done about nine, uh, well, nearly a thousand meters of climbing so far, uh, and then a few little bumps on my uh, circle back to an additional 500 meters. Uh, we've not actually gone very far at present, maybe about 8k, so uh, still a long way to go, but. A lot of it's uh, quite flat when we drop back down into the valley to to head back round to the car. So hard going this uh, this first bit, you know, some very steep ground uh, up and down, and also pretty boggy. So uh, yeah, pretty wet, cold feet at present. But I'm sure uh, when it comes round to DBR time, uh, it'll be a lot warmer and uh, all the water that's about will be uh, pretty welcome. So uh, now just going to uh, head down. Uh, we're gonna head down that way. You can see over there, that's uh, Transfinity, where the nuclear power station is. So uh, now on the, on the race, we'll be heading round that way. Uh, and then, yeah, looks as if day two will be pretty tough, but uh, you wouldn't want it any other way. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Take care. In the distance, I know Festiniog. I'm sure my Welsh pronunciation is wrong, but uh, so beautiful day. Just a shame that uh, we're finding a bit uh, bit challenging today, but uh, we'll, we'll push on regardless. No problem. And 
and uh, you know, in many respects, I don't, I don't look at it as a bad thing. If, I, if I'm finding it tough, it should uh, replicate what happens on the, on the race. I mean, this will be day two, so I'll probably already be feeling a bit sore. So, uh, yeah, good to try and replicate those conditions. Hi guys, so we're just about to drop into Manturog. So uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a strenuous downhill into into this part. But uh, when you see this waterfall, you, you're getting pretty close. So it'll be a, a welcome sight. You know, if, if it's really hot, this bridge will be somewhere to dunk a buff, I'm sure. So uh, yeah, all good. So we're nearly nearly in Manturog, and then. Uh, uh, off up to Transfinid uh, in into the Rhinox. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Well, so I'm just back at the car. Uh, it's been quite a, a tough one out today. So uh, 25 and a half k. Uh, pretty slow going to be honest. But uh, you know, I, I I'm not uh, too disappointed with that. It was pretty slippy out and. Uh, no, we, we are training after all. So uh, I think the recce went pretty well. I'm pretty uh, pretty sore now. And I think I did about 1500 meters of climbing as well. So definitely a lot of work left to do, but uh, that, that's what we train for. Uh, oh, by the way, if you notice anything different, my uh, GoPro broke for, for a number of reasons. We've, we've moved to uh, DJI Action 3. So, uh, Maybe I'll do another video why I chose that uh, as a replacement camera. Uh, so far I'm quite pleased with it. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, as always, if you're wrecking by yourself and want a circular route, I'll put the route that I did uh, in Kamut and a link in the description below. Uh, like all these things, you know, it's an A to B race, so trying to make a loop can be quite tricky. Uh, definitely the, the return bit to make the loop it isn't too interesting but uh you know at least it means we can get the mileage in and and recce parts of the route uh if, if you guys go out and recce the route that this part of day two that i've did was different to last year's so if you recce last year's or did last year's event and then have recce this route let me know what you think is it a better a better change uh, there's no out and backs which is uh, always quite nice uh, I think the uh, the steep sections on it were probably on there before already I know I've done most of them before but uh, yeah you need to have your wits about you and some uh, shoes that definitely grip well on uh, on grass uh, going down very very steep but you know good good route enjoyed it and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably wreck it a few more times before the race because I, I did make a few small wrong turns even though I was following my watch. But I, I've got a feeling for me on the uh, the DBR, every second will count. So thanks for joining me on this. If you did find it useful or mildly entertaining, uh, please, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'll uh, catch you next time.